Hello everybody, it's Barbara, and today is Warrior Friday. And for, day, for today's Warrior Friday, um, we are going to learn about runes. So today we picked the rune Laguz, which basically means water. This is the rune right here. It's from this set right here, which comes with a book and wooden runes and a bag. And it is available in my shop. But uh, this rune means water and has a double essence. On the one hand, it is connected to creativity and fertility. It is the water that wets the earth, makes the plants grow, and the flowers bloom. On the other hand, it also has a destructive energy. It is water that causes the floods that destroy whatever they meet, causing damage to everything in their paths. The energy of this rune is profound and untamed. In it can be found a great creative potential and an equally destructive force. Laguz suggests listening to our deepest id, to our dreams, and to our instincts. It is the rune of the subconscious and of premonitions. Its energy is oriented toward the perceptions of the emotive currents that circle around us. This rune gives preference to creative intelligence over a cold analysis of reality. The key to resolving eventual problems that present themselves resides more in intuition than in a more cerebral approach. Laguz nudges us to take the reins of our life in hand. Perhaps we feel like a raft adrift in a stormy sea, like we are drowning. For this reason, the moment has come to dip into our deepest hidden strengths. It is a critical time, but nothing is lost because, like water, our spirit knows to regenerate itself in order to gush clearer and purer than before. So this is... Lacus, and it is the rune for today, which is Warrior Friday. So this set comes with this amazing book. This is the God's Magical Alphabet, which I just, I love that. So the word alphabet comes from the ancient Greek, from the sequence of the first two letters that it composes, Alpha and Beta. Ancient Germanic populations who wrote the runes, however, used the Futhark alphabet instead of the Greek. It was nothing more than a runic alphabet whose name was derived from the sequence of the first six runes that it made up. Each rune corresponds to a sign, and each sign corresponds to a sound, exactly like our alphabet. The oldest Futhark that we are aware of dates back to the 5th century AD and is made up of 24 runes. As you can see, runes have a very complex history. The runes are something vital and subject to changes and modifications, just like language. They remained an integral part of life for the Nordic populations until the 1800s, when Swedish farmers began displaying them as protective talismans on the front of their homes. In each of the Germanic languages, the word rune means mystery and secret. These concepts, mystery and secret, have also remained as meanings or nuances in many words of modern Germanic languages. So there's just a little bit of information about runes. I don't want to go into too much today because I like to keep these videos short so you'll actually watch them and listen to them. Um, but just know that this is today's rune, the Lagus, and um, the keywords for the positive side of this are fantasy, Fertility, inner evolution, inspiration, potency of one's wishes, romanticism, being in love, and a desire for beauty. The negative keywords for this rune are daydreaming, illusions, bursts of anger, sexual inhibitions, and scarce self-knowledge. So, if this resonates with you, meaning that there's something that maybe you could be working on that 
this is calling you and giving you the message, then um, I suggest that you meditate and you can always ask your guides, okay, we got this rune today. How can I make my life better? How can I change? So I leave you with that today, my pretties. And I wish for you a most wonderful, blessed day today. Namaste.